Welcome to Wednesday Meditation. I'm Rick Hansen. Uh, as is our usual practice, uh, we'll begin meditating shortly till about 35 minutes past the hour, which would be 6.35 p.m. Pacific time, where I am. And then we'll take a brief break for about 10 minutes, resuming at a quarter to the hour, uh, after which I'll give a talk and then respond to questions and comments that mainly, uh, if not entirely, come in through the chat screen. Uh, with regard to the chat screen, I encourage you not to use it during the meditation unless you need to tell me that I'm talking too softly, which I'm open to hearing. And uh, then, uh, in general, you're welcome not to use the chat sidebar if you don't want to. You can push the chat button to make the chat sidebar appear, the chat button in the bottom of your Zoom window. And if you push that button again, it'll go away. And if the chat bothers you, don't look at it. Uh, we do ask that people who use the chat make comments that uh, come from with good intent um, that are focused on your own personal practice and not being critical of others or giving advice to others. Uh, and, you know, we kind of, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Uh, my own view about chat is uh, if it bothers you, don't look at it, and it's useful for me to get a running sense of where people are at in this gathering. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, tonight, my topic will be equanimity and emotional balance, and I'll be offering a few suggestions in this meditation that are relevant to that. So, finding a posture that helps you feel both comfortable and alert. Uh, there's probably a way in which sitting in an upright way or standing or walking or if you're lying down, just giving this a little thought, that if you bring a, a sense of dignity to your posture, there's a Zen saying, uh, soft in the front, firm in the back, which is a metaphor for the body as well as how to be in life in general. Uh, I think about teachings I got from people who are professionals with the body who talk about imagining a line going down through your body, the center line of your body, to the center of the earth, and maybe out through the center of the earth out the other side, as well as, as extending upward into the heavens, and even with a very gentle sense of being lifted, uplifted, inspired even, up into the heavens. You're welcome to have your eyes open or closed as you like. and establishing the intention to remain present. Thoughts and sounds and feelings and other experiences may come and go while you remain here and now, present. Getting a sense of your body gently calming. Scanning your body, taking inventory of it, and letting go of tension, letting your shoulders drop, your chest open, relaxing your jaw, your tongue, relaxing your eyes, the floor of your pelvis,
and finding something stable to remain aware of as a kind of anchor for your attention, such as the feeling of breathing, or if you prefer, a word, an image, a sense of your mind as a whole, if that works for you, something stable. I like using body sensations, especially the internal sensations of breathing, the diaphragm moving up and down, air moving into your chest, flowing out again. Seeing what it's like to sustain a sense of calm abiding amidst the waves of experiences. Seeing how long you can sustain this sense of presence. Presence as calm abiding before you're distracted and carried away by one of the waves of experiences passing through awareness. to support the stability of calm abiding, you can count your breaths, perhaps up to four and starting over again, or up to 10 and starting over again. See how many tens you can get before your mind wanders. Or if you prefer not to count, you can gently note your breath by a simple soft word in the back of your mind as you inhale in, exhaling out. These are tried and true methods for sustaining a sense of presence and calm abiding.
Equanimity is a non-reactivity to our own experiences. Experiences of sadness or pain or anger may pass through the mind, but with equanimity, we remain centered in a calm abiding, a sense of well-being in our own core as those experiences are happening. As we meditate, we can train in this sense of calm abiding, of equanimous well-being in our core. It can support this sense to have a sense of relaxation and tranquility in the body. It can also help to have an increasingly quiet mind, which is fostered in part by a sense of opening and widening. a sense of awareness opening in all directions, softening, opening, entirely accepting whatever is occurring in the stream of consciousness. While continuing to abide, as peaceful presence. See what it's like to remain present as you gently help your mind become quieter and you have a sense of awareness opening in all directions without any edges or bounds.
If you like, you can explore including warm-heartedness in your equanimity, simple, maybe subtle feelings of kindness, feeling cared about, feeling caring, bringing some warm-heartedness into the calm abiding, exploring what this is like. It could be as simple as a sense of your heart being open. As you abide spaciously and peacefully. with awareness opening in all directions, with calm abiding in the present, with an open heart. Let the sense of this sink in as you establish yourself in equanimity. appreciating what feels good about it, what feels easeful or like coming home. Feels good to you. And I'll be quiet for the remainder of the meditation.
in the last minute, you might like to open your eyes, perhaps move a little, and see what it's like to maintain the center of calm abiding, even as you're more aware of the world around you. <clears throat>